Let's head out to Lonnie Quinn for the final moments of this eclipse and what it looked like earlier this morning. Hi, Lonnie. I guess when the lights turn on, then that means. Hey, good morning to you, Sin. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, everybody. Hi. This is. is hi, you bet you know you can say hi. I have to say hello to all your all your loved ones out there. This is the the rest of my crew that is left because everybody else had to get to school. But you know, a lot of the, a lot of the school kids were out here this morning. We had a big crowd. It didn't disappoint. It was great. You know, it makes me think about. Look, it's a mathematical equation figuring out when the next one is. Let's get Joe Rayo in here. Joe, when do we get our next sunrise eclipse? That will mark it down on your calendar. It'll be on Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday morning. May first, 2079. Right, and on that 2079, oh 58 years right yeah. You you take notes and tell me about it. Wait, well 2079. Yeah, tw what do you think about 2079? Well, like since I was born in like 2010, I guess that'll be 69. There, well, there we go. There, there we there we go. I think you'd be more than 59. I think you'd be like 69, right? And the great the great part about that eclipse, Lonnie, it, it was a beautiful sight this morning. But on that morning, those who are around, such as this young man, hopefully right. over here, in New York, will see the sun rise in total eclipse. Yeah, now that's an unbelievable. View. Let me just tell you, as much as we enjoyed what we saw today, and I, I thought it was just spectacular, okay, it didn't disappoint by any means. It was something else. But to see a total sunrise eclipse, that's that's pretty much, that's in astronomy, that's the piece of the song, right? There. Correct, correct. But the other thing to note is that on April the 8th, 2024. That's less than three years from now. We're going to have a total eclipse yeah. that's going to run from Texas, north and east, up to New England, and across upstate New York. Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Plattsburgh, all of those places are going to see a total eclipse. Yeah, that is something. The only thing I'm going to say about that, Joe, that time of year, that's some tough weather. That to, to, it's going to be tough up there, but Absolutely. we are going to be on top of that, guys. Let me tell you. Uh, I do want to talk about this. As spectacular as this was, Joe, we, we were chit-chatting. Think about the ancient civilizations out there. If they woke up to a morning like this, what do you? Yeah, if, if, if not not a total eclipse, but if you were, let's say, a century or somebody who was getting up early and you looked at the sun and the sun came up looking like it did this morning here as a crescent, you would have gone bonkers. Yeah, it, you would have been, it would have been like Paul Revere. Hey, everybody, get up! Look what's happening to the sun! The sun is diseased. A monster's hitting the sun. You know, you know what I love? I love the fact that somebody else is like excited about this as I am. Guys, again, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the show, like I said, as far as the planetary show is over, it's going to be a beautiful day out there, lower humidity, but you can talk more about that with Elise. Guys, we are live here on the beach in Westport where it has been a great morning. Say goodbye to the sun to our eclipse, guys. There you have it. Let's go back to you guys. Okay, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. And, and thanks to everybody who showed up this morning. It was a great, great turnout for some really great images. You guys did a great job out there in Westport, Connecticut. Thanks a lot. Well, if you missed this morning's eclipse, do not worry. We've got you covered. Just go to CBSNewYork.com for all of this morning's video, images, and interviews that Lonnie conducted and John Elliott conducted from the beaches of New Jersey and Westport, Connecticut. We've got it all there for you.